In the words of Arthur Prince, the purpose of life is not to be happy. The purpose of life is to matter, to be productive, to have it make some difference that you lived at all. This is my goal as Miss Bahamas World, to ensure that at the end of my reign and ultimately my life, I would have made a difference in the lives of others. While competing as a contestant in the Miss Bahamas World pageant, I was inspired by the Miss Bahamas organization to make a difference through volunteerism and public service. During this year's pageant, contestants were split into two groups and required to execute a project of our own desire within a four hour time period to raise funds for charity. The team of which I was a member, the A-List Beauties, decided to hold a car wash. Here's how that went. out there now. Two of them went by the road to see if we can get some people to come in and then we have another two that's in the parking lot trying to get some people to come in so we can at least make a profit and some donations, get some donations in, get some tourists to make a donation. And like we're really struggling right now. I hope, I hope things... So far I think things are going great. We have a lot of work to do as you can see. Right now we have some refreshments on sale, um, some sodas, water, some Capri Sun, chips, cookies, and stuff like that, you know, to just bring in some additional fun. We are offering a massage while you wait to get your car wash. Five minute massage for $5, and of course, all the proceeds will go towards the crisis center, so feel free to get a massage while you're waiting. Since she's a pro, it takes me but a year to do what she's doing now. I don't know where they get the skills. You'll be, be teaching them something on the siding, or they'll be watching some tapes. Me and Azaria just reached back with the balloons and the kitty stuff and they are informing us that a lot of cars are still not in. They had one car that they washed already. So we're in a tight spot, so we're trying to decide right now how we're going to go forward. It's just that um, the day isn't exactly going how we planned. We thought the beach was going to be a great venue for kids, especially on a Saturday, and also because it's close to the hotel so we wouldn't have to worry about traffic so much. And we just figured there would be more cars out here, more people out here, so we'd, we'd be able to watch the cars, but no one seems interested. We're trying our best to try and bring people up from out the street, me and Tony. And um, at least we got one guy over there. What I've observed so far is that everything is planned well on paper, but they're having a little bit of a problem executing what it is that they want accomplished. Their team leader is not in place, and a few of the team members are not here, so we're going to watch and see what happens. Our team won the challenge, and $985.46 was donated to the Crisis Center, a facility dedicated to assisting victims of abuse. It is true that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in serving others. The act of giving to such a worthy cause was exhilarating, and that feeling only intensified after I was crowned Miss Bahamas. As a young woman who has overcome many challenges in my own life, I decided to give voice to my heart by focusing on the development of young women at risk. I spent a great deal of time reaching out to my nation's youth by visiting schools and talking to students about the importance of reaching for their goals and making better decisions for their lives. However, I wanted to place particular emphasis on helping young women to strive for more. The first step in my plan was to contact junior and senior high schools and ask them to identify girls who are falling by the wayside and in need of guidance and mentoring. The response was very encouraging as more than 100 girls signed up for the project. The task was then to identify women who would be willing to serve as mentors 
and would also be willing to donate money toward the establishment of a scholarship endowment at the College of the Bahamas for female students with great need. This proved to be more difficult, as many women who desired to participate in the mentoring aspect weren't able to contribute financially due to tough economic times. A new approach was necessary, so I decided to host a tea party and fashion show as a fundraiser, inviting my new little sisters and their mentors as my special guests. I was disappointed that I wasn't successful in raising a large sum of money, but it wasn't long before I realized that what I did accomplish was so much more valuable. More than 100 girls now have someone to look up to, someone to listen to their concerns, and someone to help guide them along the way. Many of them expressed their excitement and gratitude during the tea party. And the question of the day was, when are we getting started? As you watch this video, the program is now in full swing, and all the girls have been partnered with amazing women who have already contributed much to our society. I know that this will make a world of difference in their lives. My project is a gift that will keep on giving. As a result of my fundraising efforts, a scholarship endowment fund in the amount of $2,000 has been established for which I will continue to solicit support. However, more importantly, young women across the country now have much needed guidance, a greater sense of self-worth, and a greater desire to succeed.